Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and let's go on get it! Today's bingo comes with a little bit of a twist in that Brian has allowed us to use night vision. Look what I found in the water. Um, so I had to do this twice because the first time I forgot the night vision. The second time I forgot the night vision too, but I remembered it kind of, I remembered it fast, less fast than I did the first time. But I had deleted the video from the first one because I didn't have night vision. Anyway, so it still took me longer to get night vision than it should. Um, but I finally did it and I didn't want to le delete the video because I didn't want to take any chances on seeing any more than I had already seen. There's holes all over the ocean. There, there it was. Just that little blip right before the end of that video there. Um, there's also one right underneath where we spawn and one next to that. Uh, I didn't explore those because that one out farther looks square. And so, therefore, looked like it was probably a dungeon. I wasn't sure, but it was worth the risk. So this is done in real time, not speeded up. Yep. Um, so Brian did me a big proper by letting us have night vision because I can see underwater and at night very well and you know I have my gamma set up very bright as bright as Minecraft will allow it Minecraft keeps messing with that because they don't want us to turn our gamma up and anyway I always do because videos right and I thought well if I have night vision I always want to go exploring the ocean, but I'm always afraid to do it because if I can't see well, and even though I have clear water on with my OptiFine, it doesn't mean that it's not dark. It's clear, but it's dark. So with night vision, I can actually go deep underwater and probably actually make it to an underwater entrance before I get lost and drown. And I thought, since Brian's got the dungeons increased on this map you know you can do that right in your settings well, you can um, increase the frequency of dungeons it doesn't mean you're going to always have that many dungeons like let's say you set it for this is arbitrary I don't remember the names pretend you set it for oh say 20 dungeons per chunk that doesn't mean every chunk is going to have 20 dungeons in it it means it has a higher probability of spawning them the game has to decide where is and is not an appropriate place to spawn dungeons and will or will not cancel out based on the mathematics of the coding, which is the algorithm. The algorithm is the mathematics of the coding, okay? So that's why Bingo has more frequent dungeons, but it doesn't guarantee anything. Under the ocean is a pretty good place to look for dungeons and abandoned mine shafts and strongholds because there isn't a lot of other stuff that can tear them up. So I thought, maybe, and the first time I tried to play this game, apparently when you go into the world, when you spawn into the world, it's arbitrary how long you hover up in the air. Because the first time I hovered up in the air long enough for the graphics to load fairly well, and I could see a very pronounced, at first it's white, and then it turned black square in the water. So the second time when I came in, I already knew where it was. Kinda, you know. I mean, the general direction of where it was, how far off the shore, blah, blah, blah. Sort of knew where it was, so I went back to it again. But that's as far as I got, was hovering in the air over the pedestal, uh, landing on the ground. It said, start, go. 
I started heading for shore and then I went, oh, I forgot to turn on the night vision effect, so I stopped the recording and reset the game. The second time, I'm, I still haven't turned on night vision. <laughs> I don't think. Have I? You guys are watching the video. You can tell probably better than I can. I turned my poison particles off so that I can see around me. See, yeah, my night vision is on now. I don't know when I turned it on. Um, but I can't have the particles around me. Everybody complains about them, but for me, it's completely debilitating. I I cannot see with the particles on. It's big blue, in this case, blue clouds. With poison, it's big green clouds. You know, it just it the swirling and so on is so disorienting that I really cannot see what I'm doing. Fumbling for torches. I wish I'd done that before I got in the spawner. Fortunately, this one has a lot of light exposure, so not too much is spawning. And frankly, it's nice to have the extra drops just to have them, you know. I figured out a trick. This is a double chest. Why break both parts of it? Break one half and then clean out your inventory of stuff you don't want and clean out the um, chest of stuff you do want. I think I missed a couple of things, but... Again, I don't know how this map is going to go or what I'm going to need, so I'm keeping the basics like the redstone and the wheat in case of cookies, which I don't think is going to happen, but, you know, it always seems like the thing to do. And it looks like I've got two grassy... Oh, no, it's, um, I see, spider string. In case I need to fish and, you know. See those holes? Yeah, I was real tempted to dive down there. There's one right next to the platform and one little offset from it. There's holes all in this ocean, dude. But now I've decided that I really want a boat, so I'm going to go ahead and cut down an extra tree. I've already got spruce anyway, because I went for the sapling. So the spruce can be stacked as logs. The oak can be made into logs and planks. And the oak can be made into sticks, because there's a lot less oak than there is everything else. Still trying to look at the ocean. There's holes all in there, dude. I wish... I don't know. I, I guess... There. There it is. I guess I could go back in and just kind of explore around. I zoomed in and saw it for sure, and I said, yep, I'm going to go there. Oh, yeah, that's right. I had just enough planks to make a boat. Oak planks. And then I can make um, spruce planks for... I don't know what I'm going to need, you know? I have so much trouble placing things in my inventory. My mouse and the game just don't communicate well with each other. Mm. Boats are just going to be... Now, you can't really see it when you're going straight at it, but I knew kind of where it was. Man, squid sure get away from you fast, don't they? And then watch what happens with my boat. Where's my boat? Look where it went. My boat's already almost there. Oh, thanks. That sure saved me a lot of time. There it is, though. I just got a flash of it. I just got a little tiny flash of it when I was um, up high. Just the tiniest little... There's other ones out there. Now, this is just a guess. I don't know where I should drop. I don't know if I'll live. I don't know if I'll suffocate before I get there. I was a little bit off, but pretty close. There's another hole nearby. I don't know if you can really see it. No. There is another hole nearby, though. And that leads to other interesting things. So, holes in the ocean, dude. Just happened to be in the air pocket that was right by the chest. Now, I don't know if this helped me dig faster or not, getting up in the air pocket. But I figured, I kind of think not, because look how hard it is for the hatchet. To do the axe hatchet, whatever. Trying not to drown. I don't know if I need those, but I'm getting them just in case. Uh, and then I'm not really going to do too much inventory, so I don't want to drown. 
And then there's a hole right here, and I do hear things. I made the best choice. See, I just followed the water to the corner. See, it goes down. It's a deep cave. I would love to explore around this. And then I didn't place these right, but I tried. I didn't have very many cobble, and I was afraid I'd run out. Before I got across the water, I didn't know, should I go down the cave or... But you see the gravel? You know me and gravel? And I need flint for the map, right? I think. So, I did get flint and I heard the, you know, the fireworks go off. And then do a poke hole. Because gravel always hides stuff. Okay, gravel almost always hides stuff. There have been times when I've dug out an entire pile of gravel and done poke holes all the way around and didn't really see anything except maybe a little bit of iron or something. But there's almost always something. It either leads to another passageway or... Bye, creeper. Well, we'll go this way. That was a dead end anyway. I'm so glad I followed this hole in the water. I was scared, man. I was so sure I was going to um, drown on the way down. Because I don't even know how many blocks deep that is, but it's deep. I'd say a good 20, wouldn't you? I'm so glad I went this way. And I'm so glad I lit torches. And I saw that, I said, oh, that's a way out, you know? That's that other hole that you can see from the surface. And then I thought, wait, I better, before the mobs can um, spawn, I better check out this the thing I did. I was going to dig all that iron out. And I'm glad I followed this passageway instead. Hello. They can bite you even if they can't get through the passage, jerks. And then look, I turn around, I'm like, I did a double take. I'm like, really? Seeds. Pumpkin and melon seeds. Oh, creeper, creeper, creeper. Gold for an apple. I don't know if I got an apple or not. I kind of think I didn't. But, and then I saw the spider thingy and I'm all, no. That was a bad place to stop and check my, um, map. Because there's spiders behind me. Shouldn't have done that. So now I'm thinking, okay, this looks like a pretty safe place to, um, craft stuff. I thought I had two, um, furnaces? See? I thought that was furnaces. If you see them in my crafting stuff in my inventory, let me know. But I think I accidentally put them down at the skeleton spawner. Either that or I never crafted any. I don't know. And then I realized, oh my god, I don't have enough blocks. So I wasn't quite ready for this, but now it's, oh my god, where's my um, crafting table? Because look at all the stuff that's almost all the same color. There's wood and dirt and gravel and bippity boppity boop. I know I've got some cobble, but I can't quite read how many I've got, so just to make sure. I cut eight cobble just in case, because I can't, sometimes I can't quite read the numbers on the quantity of things in your inventory and I don't like playing with my magnifier on because it makes a magnifying glass shape right where you could see it in the recording um so I don't like playing with my magnifier besides it kind of messes up the graphic uh, and it can actually make the screen of the game go black to have my magnifier on I love my magnifier and it's great when I'm on a browser or something and reading text or something like that but for trying to play Minecraft, no. So it's just, see, I thought I was done, and I'm all like, what? I'm not done? What? And then I realized I had made sugar. Har, har. So there it is. That's, I think that might be my best time in the history of history. So now I'm just pooping around because I can poop around. I never do this, and I always, afterwards, I'm always like, I wonder what else there was, and, you know. 
And it's going to take me a while to realize that, hey, I could go into either... What, should I go into creative or should I go into that uh, game mode 3 spectator? I ended up going into spectator. Because I ended up going through the ground, you know, like x-ray kind of deal. I'm just doing this to be a jerk because you know, I thought it'd be funny if I died. I didn't die, but I did get an alley. So I don't know why I didn't think to change my game mode here so I didn't have to go through this water. That would have been a thing. Hmm. Still playing bingo, not playing. I can cheat now. Well, you know, it's bingo. It's like my mindset isn't about cheating. My mindset is about playing because I'm trying to improve my ability to play this game. I think he was on the other side. I can cheat. I'm like, oh yeah. Boy, that's deep. If I needed diamonds or something, I'm pretty sure they're down there. Somewhere. I have a feeling there's a lot of ravines under this ocean. I have a feeling that under the respawn in, where that mushroom is, there's a two wide gap behind me. And I know there was something back there. I know there was. It's just too obviously saying, come here, come get me. Yeah, it was, the other side of that wall would have been this ravine. And another spider spawner and probably more loot chests, because in my experience, loot chests are usually within a few corridors of the spider spawner. Cooties all over the place. Boy, it'd be fun to play. This is a real survival map, wouldn't it? Wow. It's a big, um, look at that. It's a big abandoned mine. It's got all kinds of goodies in it. I was kind of looking around to see if maybe there was a, um, stronghold? Never saw one. My crosshair is having a problem when I'm on F3 showing up so that I know that I can actually click on the chest and see what's inside. Look at all the dungeons. There's no place above ground for them to form. So they're all down there under the ocean. That's why there's a lot of cooties. Well, there's not a lot of cooties, because I didn't stay in any one place too long, but there would be a lot more cooties under there, because they can't form up on the, wa on the water, you know? That's a lot of dungeons. Not the best loot in the world that I saw, but, I mean, if you needed a lot of iron, it would have been worth it. No gold, no diamonds, no enchanted books, I don't think. I haven't finally just said to have, but it stopped even looking at the loot. So this is where it comes out. I'm not sure where that is. I'm a little lost now. Just flying around looking at the train. Never did find my way back to my spawn point. Just wanted to look around. So that's one of my best times because I was a little bit more brave because I had night vision. Which makes water no problem. It's a pretty world, isn't it? Be a heck of a lot of fun to live and build there. Look how pink this guy got. I need to stop moving because I'm generating new terrain and I'm having FPS issues as a result. Brian gave me um honorable mention for making two cakes. I don't play fast, but I play consistently, and I'm playing better. And I'm still in F in F no 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 game mode three I think. I also wanted access to my inventory because I wanted to give Brian a sacrifice. I got that from, I think it's from Scopecraft. One of these days I will remember. I like his videos, I watch him a lot. So there you go, Brian. Something really rare that befuddles this map all the time. Melon seeds. 
Welcome to Minecraft Bingo by Dr. Lorgon111. You can find it on Twitter at, at Minecraft Bingo and Lorgon111's channel and there's Reddit and I don't know why I'm doing this but I can so it's real hard to walk because you have to do everything backwards. Forward is backwards, left is right, that kind of thing. There it is, at Minecraft Bingo. I wanted to show you the at Minecraft Bingo. And the monument with me standing at it. Even though I'm on a different side than I usually am. And if you press those buttons, you find out stuff too. So thanks for watching. Remember, I'd hug you, but my arms don't bend. Bye. Woohoo. Good time. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and let's go on, get it!